glad it came out. Zach. I'm fine. How are you doing? Fantastic. Did you ever think coming out of Gremlins you would be at a TCM Classic Film Festival? I hoped that I would. <laughs> and now here I am and it's it's nice. Okay. Very warm. Just flew in from New York yesterday so it's a lot warmer and nicer and sunnier than it was okay. back in chilly Manhattan. Mm -hmm. But um, but it's great. How is this experience, with, especially being here for the Sound of Music because obviously you're of the ge generation that grew up with the film also. Mm -hmm. Well, ironically, I'm one of the few people that has never seen The Sound of Music. I've seen clips of it, and I've seen chunks of it, but I've never seen it from start to finish. So I'm excited to see it for the first time on a massive screen. Oh, and it's a restored print, too. It's a restored print, too. I'm actually here because I'm introducing a, a movie that I did in 1982 that has sat on the shelf for 33 years and is getting its film festival debut. Uh, on Saturday night at the Chinese. So it's going to be wild to show a movie that people have heard about but never seen for a third of a century. Especially a movie that has people like Bill Murray and Dan Aykroyd and Imogene Coca and Sid Caesar, uh, not Sid Caesar, um, as I said Imogene Coca, I said Sid Caesar right away. They, they go um, hand in hand. Sam Jaffe, Mort Saul, mm -hmm. a lot of cool people. So it's pretty amazing. Do you remember what it was like when you filmed that movie 30 some years ago? Oh, sure, yeah. I did it as my senior project. I was 18 years old. <laughs> I got high school credit for it. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it was it was pretty shocking. It was my first lead in a movie, and, um, you know, you just tried to do the best that you could. I, I, to be perfectly honest, I didn't really 100% know what I was doing, but I had a great director in Tom Schiller, and he really helped me along and, and kind of uh, showed me some of the ins and outs of film acting and how you can do a lot less and say a lot more. And have you taken that with you throughout your career? Oh, absolutely. If anything, I probably that's probably become my mantra. You know, the whole idea as an actor is that all you have to do is the absolute minimum amount to let the audience know what you're doing as opposed to overdoing it because nobody likes overacting, right? <laughs> is there anything else you'll be seeing at the festival while you're here? I'm um, not 100% sure. Uh, the one that I really wanted to see probably was um, the restored version of Lenny with Dustin Hoffman. That looks pretty good, and, and I've got a nice slot tomorrow on Friday where I can go see that. So I might uh, take my VIP pass and, uh, and uh, you know, kind of uh, make my way to the head of the line if possible. You know, that VIP pass has to be good for something. Gotta, i got to use it at least once. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> Zach, thank you so much, and I'm looking forward to seeing the debut of the film. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a pretty wild movie, so. Thank you, out. Zach. Thank you so much.